What's going on, you guys? Alex, and in today's video, I want to show you how to deploy your lovable project. So I'm just going to jump right into it, and I'm a complete noob, so if I can figure it out, uh, you guys can definitely figure it out. I'll quickly walk you through it. This will be a deploy with GitHub and Netlify, which I will have in the title, so you know that's what this video is for. So the first thing you want to do, and I am already logged in, so I'm just going to show you guys here, uh, is go to GitHub.com, right? It's going to ask you to sign up. Uh, just follow through, sign up with GitHub, no problem at all. Uh, just add your information here, just get that all signed up. Then when you're done signing up on GitHub, and really straightforward, I mean, if you can't sign up for GitHub, I can't help you. Uh, also, go to sign up on Netlify, right? So go to netlify.com. When you go to sign up, it will let you sign up with GitHub, so you can use your uh, GitHub account to sign up. Then it's all linked. You're going to get some pop-ups about asking if you want to link it. Make sure you follow through with all that and you'll be good to go. Then here on Lovable, you are going to have to link your uh, GitHub to your Lovable account. And to do that, when you're ready to publish your, your uh, project, and even if you're out of a project, right? So I can just go to lovable.dev here and I'll show you guys. Uh, let me get rid of this. Does it save? I think it saves. Yeah, if you click on your latest project here, right? You will see that there are a few options up here and you can see sync your project to GitHub, uh, manage Superbase and publish. So if you're, uh, when you sign up for GitHub, come back to Lovable, make sure you connect it, right? You'll be able to connect it uh, by clicking on this button. It'll ask you to sync your account. Once it's all connected, really straightforward. I don't need to walk you through those steps there. Go ahead and click sync your project on GitHub. It's gonna say here, sync your Lovable project with GitHub to edit your code from anywhere. Click on transfer project to GitHub. Choose your name, right? Choose the account that you're, choose your GitHub account. Click on that. It's gonna do some loading. And now it's telling you GitHub repository is now under your account. It says that it's connected to GitHub. Now, what you can do here is now go to github.com, log in, right? So let me move this out of the way. And you'll see here on your left, all of your repositories. And this one was, a bunch of weird letters. I don't actually know if I can rename it. Maybe not. Anyways, this is gonna be, you're gonna see the list of your repositories, the list of your projects here on the left, right? You can click into your project and it will show you, I wish I could rename it though, can I? No. Uh, it'll show you the whole, I, I'm sure there's a way I'm a complete noob. Anyways, it'll show you the whole project here, right? This is gonna be your website uh, and this is the website that I have here, just a, a random website I have built on, uh, I just built on Lovable, one shot that. Anyways, from here, right, what you want, what you want to do now uh, is push this to Netlify. So again, you're gonna have to connect your Netlify account to GitHub. Uh, and then from here, I don't actually remember exactly what it is to do. Ah, yeah, so from here, go to your Netlify account, right? Make sure you log in. Now, in Netlify, uh, you're gonna see the list of sites here, right? And what you wanna do in Netlify is just click Add New Site. And then you would just go uh, Import an Existing Project. Now, because it's, uh, well, you are gonna be asked to link to it, but Netlify is now asking you which of these you wanna link to. And you can see GitHub here. Click on it, it's gonna ask you for your prompts here. Make sure that you have everything linked, linked up. Choose your latest project, which you're gonna see right here, right? Click on this, you can name your site, uh, whatever um, you want, right? If it's available, it'll be live. And you can see here now, uh, it will post to .netlify.app. None of this really matters here, right? At least not to me. Now you can click on deploy, Lviv Cleaning Co, or whatever the name of your website is. And now here, you can see that it is ready uh, to be deployed. Not necessarily live, like you'll have a URL, you'll have a .netlify.app um, URL, uh, but you won't have a actual domain yet and I will show you how to get that started in just a second once the site has launched so you can see here if you do click on this it'll show you the deploy log it's just going through everything right building out all the back-end nerd stuff that you need to um, deploy your site it's gonna go through all of these right just give it a second and now it's complete and now uh, I think if we click this one it does open our site, which we now have here and which does look fantastic. Now, 
to actually deploy it live uh, is not that difficult. Uh, so you can just click back to uh, site overview here. And you can see here, you can either set up custom domain, you either buy a new domain or set up uh, on a domain that you already own. I've already done this with the domains I've already owned. When you click through to this, it's gonna ask you to add your domain. You're either gonna have to go where your domain is hosted. So if it's on Namecheap, for example, you log into Namecheap, you point your name servers to the name servers they will give. And they also give you an option to buy a domain. I'm wondering how much they cost. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, just the normal prices uh, that you would pay. Anyways, uh, and it is really that easy. Once it is set up, it will force, uh, if you just decide to go through with it, it will force the uh, SSL certificate so that your website is gonna be secure, but otherwise it is really that straightforward. When you follow the prompts from, from the custom domain, all you have to do is just point the name servers uh, from wherever you're, you're hosted, GoDaddy, Namecheap, wherever. If you do through here, you don't have to do that, but if you just have the domain already, if you buy a, a cheap $1 domain, all you have to do is point the name servers to the name servers of Netlify. Uh, and then once that propagates over, it's a few minutes, maybe an hour, uh, the site is ready to go live on here as well. Super easy, super straightforward. If you don't know how to do this part, again, use ChatGPT, look it up. But it is really that easy, guys, to get your um, website at least live and deployed online really quickly to start testing it out. And we do a quick, a quick mobile test and the site looks fantastic. Anyways, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.